Hello, good afternoon. This is, uh, I mean, good, good day. Hello, good day, everyone. Last time you had our, I have, I have this uh, video presentation was on the first day of our class or LMS. So uh, since this is another uh, chapter, let's have another video for this. Okay. So uh, last last chapter we we were discussing on uh, the nature of science and science investigations how nature of science will help us in uh, conducting science investigations like that and uh, the types of research also are being discussed there we have uh, applied and basic research and of course uh, the importance of scientific inquiry and uh, the importance of understanding the nature of science now uh, let's proceed no this time let's have the uh, cur current trends and practices in doing SIP based on international standards okay so this uh, presentation uh, is from uh, Julius I. Centina of Davao City National High School I uh, and of course I this is uh, from uh, seminars that we have attended on SIP or science investigatory project preparations so I, I find it, this uh, slide very good so I adapted it and edited it for our consumption okay so let's start so uh, uh, current trends no so uh, what what are the trends of the winning uh, SIP uh, in uh, five uh, maybe in the last five years no let's just say last five years or last three years or so what's just what's the year now 2020 so last two years to be exact now so let us try to examine and try to observe what have you uh, observed to their studies and uh, how are going to benchmark from these studies so that we can came up with a very good uh, let's just say problem or title because that is uh, our output in uh, research 2 for grade 8 uh, we are expected to came up with a research problem and so with the title no? but uh, basically research problem no? the title will just uh, have to will, uh, will be later polished on uh, depending on your study so what we are really up to is a very good uh, research problem okay so let's start so uh, intel icef or international science and engineering fair have you heard of intel icef no for grade eight so guru uh, maybe in your research one you have discussed already uh, what is intel icef all about that is the uh, let's just say mo most prestigious uh, event in science investigatory uh, project okay Kumbaga, your entire research uh, subjects research one to four uh, is uh, designed is programmed to uh, to make you to the Intel ISEF okay it is uh, let's, uh, the most prestigious I think uh, mm, prestigious event in uh, science and engineering fair for junior high school and senior high school students so Intel ISEF is the world's largest pre-college science competition by the Society for Science and the Public and funded by Intel foundations okay Mm. there are uh, 
22 categories uh, in Intel ISAF. In a, in a, in a, say, uh, in a, in our, in the Philippines, is to say, in the Philippines, uh, Intel, uh, ano bang tawag sa event natin sa Philippines, no? yung uh, Intel ISF ah uh, meron tayong Division Science and Engineering Fair ah uh, okay ah uh, uh, in the Philippines ah uh, it is it it starts with the uh, the school le level science and engineering fair and then uh, after school level it uh, the next level of competitions for mm, towards Intel ISF is uh, the DSTF, DSTF or Division Science and Technology Fair and uh, if you are selected luckily no I mean hopefully in uh, in uh, you can participate already during your in your grade 9 and grade 10 I, I mean next year you can participate no in your grade 9 so if you are chosen in the division to participate uh, the next level will be RSTF that is uh, Regional Science and Technology Fair and if you won first place in the RSTF you will participate in the NSTF the National Science and Technology Fair okay and then if you won in the NSTF so that that's the time you will have yourself in the Intel ISAF okay so let's go back to the categories no there are 22 categories uh, animal science biochemistry biomedical and health science biomedical engineering cellular and molecular biology energy chemical and uh, physical environmental engineering and material science microbiology plant science and of course robotics and intelligent machines huh? so uh, but uh, in the but in the lower level of competitions I mean uh, you your study if chosen if, if it won it if it will win in the national level you will uh, that's the time that you will uh, mm, specify your uh, category but in the lower levels we, we only have uh, life science and physical science and uh, life science physical science and uh, RIM robotics and intelligent machines okay so the setup uh, will be taken later in the in your grade 9 and grade 10 kung paano paano yung i-conduct yun as, as to categories you only, we only have 3 categories in lower level of competitions ok next so we have here 2018 Intel ISAF Grand Award winner huh? from Pittsburgh his name is Gordon Moore Award I mean uh uh, yung award for uh, the RIM is Gordon Moore Award $75,000 so how much is that in the Philippine Peso so that would be uh, if, let's just say 50 3.5 3. Uh, 3 million more or less ok so the study is a uh, grand award winner. No? The study is autonomous window cleaning robot for commercial high-rise buildings. Okay, so try to examine and observe closely. No, autonomous because uh, this is because this is a uh, robotics and intelligent machine window cleaning robot. Okay, 
very simple no window cleaning but the application look at that commercial high rise buildings okay so instead na yung makikita mo sa mga sa commercials or sa mga movies or sa mga sa YouTube na tao ang naglilinis ng uh, uh, window sa labas no ng, ng mga high rise buildings so by by his uh, by Oliver Nichols of uh, Australia in his study uh, robot na no okay ang mag mag clean ng window ng mga high rise buildings okay so examine the title very simple yet the application is very uh, noble no okay so ito yung uh, uh, robot niya no so uh, when you say robotics and intelligent machines not necessarily na mukha talaga ang robot no uh, what what is uh, af after there is uh, the autonomous it means that uh, it can operate without human intervention ganyan no kahit na walang tao mag mag operate rin siya so he was awarded Oliver Nichols for designing and building a prototype of an autonomous robotic window cleaner for commercial buildings a flying drone like device is tethered to the roof of a building and equipped with a powerful powerful spray nozzle and rotating scrubbers okay the two thousand three hundred dollar device can withstand 28 mile per hour winds and could replace traditional methods that can exceed eleven thousand dollars per cleaning as well as reduce injuries in these high risk occupations okay Diba, high paying job ang uh, window cleaner no sa sa abroad because uh, not not anybody would would pursue window cleaning because it's very dangerous okay so in his device he he only spent 2300 dollars and compared that to uh, the labor of eleven thousand and eleven thousand dollars per cleaning that is very uh, cost efficient no? and again uh, observe what are the 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 things that uh, makes it very uh, ma ma that makes it to the grand award winner is that uh, Okay, you can uh, discover what do you think are are the things that you have seen. Uh, why why does it uh, won the grand award winner? Okay, let's continue. No. So, eto, this is uh, this is uh, what what the study all about. No? Robotics does not need human intervention. Okay, kaya ang autonomous no ang term niya no and it means that it is cost effective faster and reliable okay no so uh, so th this is uh, how the the projects the problem that we are looking for no that uh, it is uh, cost effective faster and reliable compared to what is being practiced okay or what is in the market or what is uh, traditionally done okay and then reduce injuries for high risk occupations and it is easy to duplicate okay yeah nima of course uh, if you're going to study or if you came up with a a project in RIM or uh, robotics and intelligent machines it should be easily replicable or uh, easily be uh, duplicated no? so again if you are you're going to pursue your uh, formulating problems 
research problem on RIM, these are the things that should you, you should take note. No. Next, water level indicator and alarm system microcontroller and global system system using Arduino Uno for mobile communications. Okay, so uh, look at the problem or the title water level indicator and alarm system mic microcontroller and global system using Arduino Uno for mobile communications. So what do you think is this study all about? No? So saan ba ito mga gamit? Okay, so this is in the disaster risk reduction management. No? Yung uh, study niya ay uh, um, parang early warning devices for uh, maybe sa river niya ilagay o sa certain lower areas in the cities or in the community kung saan madalas babayin or para nga preemptive measure siya no? para ma-alarm ma ma yung mga community that there will be uh, if a certain water level is uh, rich so ito yung kanyang uh, study all about okay again hmm, this is the study of uh, ito ang nanalo sa ating uh, ano no sa regional R sa RSTF no RSTF Regional Science and Technology Fair no? sa Philippines ito na set up another uh, another grand award winner ito naman ay Etel Foundation Young Scientist Award 50,000 dollars ito naman ay sa chemistry ito yung e entry number niya no so uh, again examine the title and try to observe examine kung what what would be the why did it won a grand award winner okay greens synthesis of phosphorus nitrogen nitrogen co-duped carbon materials from renewable resources for supercapacitor applications by a microwave assist assisted technique. Okay? So, ibig sabihin na kanya yung kuhan ay sa green synthesis of phosphorus and nitrogen, no? Ibig sabihin ng green synthesis is that you, you can uh, synthesize phosphorus and nitrogen from a a friendly uh, environment friendly manner no and that is uh, the application is super capacitors okay from Migana Bolimpali Little Rock USA yeah let's read about her study no uh, 17 years old so this is uh, maybe because the Intel ISF is open to junior high school and senior high school students so 17 para senior high school nata ito of Little Rock for her novel novel again naka highlight take note low cost okay look at the keywords there approach for synthesizing materials that could greatly cut the production and energy cost of making electrodes for devices like super capacitors okay Again, energy and production cost ang ina address using novel materials, novel method, novel procedures. She found that combining common substances like tea and molasses, okay, tea and molasses lang yan, no? with nitrogen and phosphorus in a commercial microwave form, a powder that could be used as a coating for electrode like materials giving the materials properties similar to more expensive metals like platinum okay so uh, you again what what's make what makes it novel is that she used uh, common materials tea and molasses and can 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 be can, can be significantly compared to 
expensive metals like platinum. So imagine the the cost and the production that can be saved by her study, no? Okay? So so that's why it won a an Intel ISAF Grand Award winner, fifty thousand dollars. So I hope uh, one of you in in this uh, batch, opal and diamond, let's just say, could make it to the um, NSTF, and not just make it, but uh, could uh, can hopefully won the NSTF award first place so that we can participate in the Intel ISAF someday in the near future hopefully and hoping for your to ma make your efforts uh, count no? next so uh, what are the, the things that uh, that uh, make it a grand winner Green synthesis, no, makes use of tea and molasses, no, that are uh, that are very novel uh, materials, baked in microwave, and the method also, of also will produce a powder for coating for electrode-like materials. Okay, so uh, key points of the study reduces or eliminates the use of hazardous substances in the design environment friendly kaya nga green synthesis no? cut the production and energy cost for supercapacitors and it is cost effective a good alternative okay no so your study i mean your the cost of your study should not be higher than the cost of what is uh, currently being practiced or what, what's the cost of the current device being used, current method being uh, past, uh, current method being practiced, things like that, no? Baka naman yung study nyo ay mas mahal pa kaysa sa, at, sa, sa what is found in the market already. So, why, why would the, the consumer or the, the body choose your study over the already existing ones? which is lower 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 in terms of cost and nobility compared to your study diba uh, so again in designing a research problem you should take take into consideration that it should be cost effective novel things like that no and uh, it is uh, comparable to what is being practiced Okay? Baka naman yung study nyo ay uh, inferior to what is being practiced. So, why why we, why we, why the body should uh, should go to your study? No? Like that. Okay. Next. Another uh, grand award winner, Intel ISAF, no? 2018. Again, uh, fifty thousand dollars. So, uh, what is fifty two point five million? Intel Foundation Young Scientist Award. Okay. Uh, from USA, Drew Vic Parikh. No, parang Indian ata, no? Parang. Uh, pero sa si US nasa US based ito. US national. No? A novel. Okay, tignan nyo ang term, no? Novel. Soul gel derived peak slash silicon dioxide composite membrane for vanadium redox redox flow battery okay so sounds very complicated but once you are into the study uh, again uh, the, the uh, our our SIP that the audience are scientific community okay so so you are not going to to the to the community with with this term no 
but uh, our target is not the community but our target is the scientific community okay it's just that the application will reach the community general public but the the study is addressed to or to be defended by a scientific community so do not worry with the term make use of scientific term of course in uh, producing your problem research problem okay so what is the study all about 18 years old so this is senior high school of both hell for its development of less expensive take note of the highlighted word yet more robust ion exchange membranes for use in large scale industrial scale batteries for storing solar or wind generated electricity for light for later di later distribution his composite membrane has 10 times the photon proton conductivity of the industry standard membrane excuse me membrane while, redu while reducing production cost by about 30 percent okay again uh, what have you observed from the study why did it won the grand award winner okay so let's examine then vanadium redox flow batteries industrial scale batteries that are considered for the storage of solar wind or of renewable energy in power plants so that is vanadium redox flow batteries sulfonated pulley spec or either either ketone a no novel promising material due to its low cost ito yung uh, ginamit ni uh, ni uh, parik no low vanadium low cost and low vanadium ion permeability ion exchange is the crucial component of the battery performance so uh, his study is very, is low cost and low vanadium ion and low vanadium ion permeability no less expensive yet output oriented which is which yield to higher ion exchange for storing energy so his study is less expensive than the market or than the what is available in the market and even higher in terms of yield or output ion exchange okay so that's why it it won the uh, grand award no it is not just comparable the study but it is even greater in terms of performance than what is actually being uh, used in the market or I what is actually being practiced no so yeah that is how uh, how to win a grand award in Intel ISAF. Okay. Now, uh, again, in the future you will formulate. So you make a, you make a research problem that is uh, winnable in, let's just say, uh, NSTF and Intel ISAF. Okay. So. Yeah. Dream big, no sky sky is the limit but uh, you have to make your dream a reality you know okay so uh, this is the the things that we should consider you no know, for our study so First, find a solution to an existing problem in your community. Okay? So, observe observe your community. Say, say for example, uh, the practices in our... The practices in our community. No? The methods used, the, the technology being practiced, being used, the gadgets used, or the processes being... Uh, followed the procedures observe those and uh, find a way observe if there are problems that they encounter 
and then find a solution to that and that is your research problem okay and take note it should be good alternative if it is not good alternative even a better substitute to what is being practiced what is being used what is being followed what's the method currently available okay of and of course with plenty of resources okay so do not uh, engage in a research problem that you uh, you have to order your materials ingredients or your devices or your materials in general from other countries for you to to conduct your study or your problem okay make use of what is available in the community you no know? it should be plenty you no know? and of course environment friendly uh, consider all the the studies me been mentioned a while ago those are environmental friendly green synthesis uh, ganyan, no? use of materials that are environmental friendly and another cut the production cost okay it should be cost effective look at the other one 30 percent and the other one again cost the eleven thousand dollars into two two thousand five hundred dollars i think yung window cleaner okay look at the production cost so again that that is that is things to consider in our research problem in the future and of course produce a greater output okay again now let's consider that our research study our problem is should be superior if not superior comparable to what is being practiced okay or to the current devices being used or to the current um, uh, materials we that is uh, being used or to the current method so depending on the type of your study okay so class take note of the following considerations in uh, coming up with research problem in the future so be inspired by their studies and be one of them in the future okay looking forward for you to be in the intel isaf in your grade 9 or in grade 10 and in your senior high school but of course it will start it it will start here in our grade 8 okay we should be able to make a very good research problem it starts everything starts with a research problem okay again in formulating in formulating the research problem problem those are the things that you should consider so guys I hope you have learned something from this uh, lecture and uh, if you have comments, suggestions, or questions, just uh, PM or in our chat box. No? So, uh, of course, the Philippines is, is not uh, behind, far behind from uh, the rest of the world in the Intel ISAF world. No? We have also grand award winners in the Philippines. No? So in Intel ISAF, these are uh, the people from the Philippines that, uh, I mean, participated, no? bring home prizes from Intel ISAF. Okay? Mm. So uh, in, uh, these are the Intel ISAF winners, no? from energy category physical second award $1,500 so that is uh, more or less uh, 50,000 pesos 
Okay. The study is Design and Development of Solar Tracking Arduino Rooted PV Panels no? from Camarines, Camarines Sur National High School, Philippines, Rivera, Cadures, and Manzanero. No? So, uh, what is the study? Er, what is the study all about? No, uh, PV panels. Ibig sabihin niyan, PV panels is a photovoltaic solar panels. No, absorb sunlight as a source of energy. Arduino is an open source computer hardware or software company which design and manufacture single board microcontrollers. So in uh, RIM Robotics and Intelligent Machines. What is very popular at present is uh, Arduino. No? It's a microcontroller, parang uh, uh, let's just say my microcomputer, no? Ganyan. That can be attached in your gadgets and devices so that parang yan yung uh, that's the brain of the, the device where the commands and the program I is embedded for, the, for your gadgets to run, no? Okay. Ibig sabihin na ano, design and development of solar panel tracking, solar tracking Arduino rooted PV panels. Ibig sabihin pa, uh, yung yung uh, PV panels nila kung nasan yung araw, pupunta doon doon mag magface ang uh, panels nila, no? Oh, parang ganyan ganyan ang study nila. Okay? Na, nagde-detect sila kung saan yung uh, sikat ng araw doon din pupunta ang mag, mag face towards the sun ang solar panel another Intel uh, grand wi uh, winner from the Philippines is a uh, third award $1,000 $50,000 pesos earth and environmental science and examine the, sta uh, the, the title Biosorption of manganese mine effluents using crude chitin from shell waste of Philippines bivalves. Okay, biosorption. Okay, ito mga manganese metals ang kanyang uh, um, from mine effluents, no? F using crude chitin no? from shell shell waste, no? Chitin and shell, no? From, uh, from Iloilo National High School, Sakin and Molihona Jr. Okay, so what is the study all about? A fib chitin, fibrous substance consisting of polysaccharides. Yun nga, yung, yung shell, shell, parang uh, idurog nila ang shell. Then, siya yung mag, ang shell na yung uh, mga chitin from the shell, siya, siya na yung mag absorb sa mga manganese effluence from mines no? ibig sabihin mga metal wastes effluence liquid waste on sewage discharge in the, into bodies of waters ok, yan ang effluence another we have uh, fourth award $500 that's uh, times 50 25,000 pesos Phytoreductive hydrothermal synthesis of polyethylene glycol coated magnetic iron oxide nanoparticles for drug delivery. Okay, Iloilo National High School again, Lidesma, no? So, uh, what is the study all about? Iron oxide nanoparticles, no? Siya yung mag facilitate the delivery and sustained release of therapeutic agents to target sites of action. Okay, it is inexpensive, highly reactive solvents, hazardous by products. Okay, and le leaf extract of chromolena odorata used as reducing capping and stabilizing agent of I ion P's were coated with polyethylene glycol for the entrapment of a modal drug using UV visible spectroscopy and atomic force microscopy. So, ang ginawa niya is, itong uh, mm, iron oxide nanoparticles is an expensive, highly reactive, and meron siyang hazardous byproducts. So, uh, mm, 
the researcher uses leaf extract from Chromolina odorata as a reducing and capping and stabilizing agent of ion IONPs. Okay. Hmm. Iba. Ibig sabihin reducing para hindi siya masyadong uh, hazardous yung, uh, yung mga hazardous byproducts niya, no? And stabilizing kasi highly reactive ang solvent. Yan. And we have also different pa participants here from the Philippines team in the 2000, uh, 2018 Intel ICEF, no? Garci Garcinia Binuka Fruit and Leaf Phytochemical Radiated Antioxidant So mga antioxidant Ayan. And Next study Propulsion Performance Evaluation of a Lego based Karinga form mechanism for a prototype robotic fish and man underwater vehicle Ayan. So RIM ito no? Then Reducing Dopaminergic Neod neo neurodegeneration and motor dysfunction using crude ethanolic bamboo leaf extract on a transgenic kinerbahyditis elegans model of Parkinson's disease or oh, Parkinson's disease, no? Yan. Okay, so another is uh, sa plant science naman Intel ISF best category award Five thousand dollars. That's uh, twenty-five thousand pesos. Two hundred fifty thousand pesos. Analyzing the pesticidal properties of Trichoderma harzanium. Okay. Then another plant uh, category: insecticidal activity of acacia bark extract against rice black rice black bug. So, eto insecticidal activity of acacia bark extract against rice black bug is from Davao City National High School no? nanalo sila ng Intel ISO uh, second award $1,500 ok so ito ay ang study nila ay yeah, acacia bark extract no? kung uh, pang kontra sa mga rice black bug very simple, very novel and uh, and it won $1,500 in the Intel ISEF from Davao City National High School. Sa Tagum City National High School, so far, uh, we, we already participated in the National Science and Technology Fair and uh, won runners-up but uh, not uh, actually first place. So. Who knows, you will be the ones to put us in the spotlight. Okay, so please do what is uh, expected of you as a SD student of Tagum City National High School. Okay, let's continue. Practices for doing SIP an element of winning research project. So, ito lang, no? very simple ang uh, element of a winning research project. First, plan your work. So, this will come in your grade 9 once you have your research problem in your grade 8. Okay, because sa uh, grade 9, magawa na talaga kayo ng uh, SIP project, no? I mean SIP and number two getting students engagement so uh, you should uh, you should be the one to formulate your research problem not by other people not by other uh, but not not by your kuyas ates things like that okay. your idea should emanate from yourself and then you can consult others but your idea should be your your own i mean your your problem should be your own idea so that you will 
feel responsible and you will feel engaged in doing your project because you that is your idea no you came up with that so in that case in that sense you have the willingness to pursue your study because uh, it's that your problem is not uh, given by you but you formulate your own problem okay next look for agencies laboratories and institution okay kailangan natin ng mga ano tawag doon ang uh, Uh, partner institution ah, kalimutan ko ang term mga laboratories na where we will conduct our study our school is not fit to conduct a, an SIP no? pwede lang siya preparation of the materials then you go to accredited laboratories and institutions or agencies to conduct your study so far The school is not, our school laboratories are not yet designed for, uh, let's just say not yet accredited for laboratory for the conduct of an SIP, no? Uh, parang i-upgrade pa natin. Next, look for qualified scientist, QS, and designated supervisor. Okay, so, ayun, you have your idea you have your uh, idea of your research problem now uh, who can help you enhance your idea that is the qualified scientists the professionals in the field practicing professionals of your of uh, in relation to your interest to your idea you know, to your research problem of interest Designated supervisors, those are, those are your teachers, your research advisor. Okay, look for uh, qualified scientists and designated supervisors are, are you, us, your teachers. No? So, very helpful that you have something to ask for technical assistance of your uh, research problem of your idea hmm. of course you're just a grade 8 student so and in, uh, in grade 9 there are technical aspects that uh, we do not know yet so the ones that will answer that are the qualified scientists so engineers programmers doctors practicing professionals of your selected field okay okay so uh, if you follow these guides here uh, see you in the NSTF and Intel ISEF next have a project data logbook of course uh, ito ay dapat naka-diary yung yung uh, ano no parang diary ba no? dapat mayroon kang data logbook document everything photo documentation so in the future ito sa grade 9 familiarize the intel isef rules and guidelines oh we will uh, discuss this in the separate topic because for example uh, uh, when you conduct uh, studies on animals as your vertebrates are very complicated to use in uh, research or in a science investigatory project because we have different we have list of protocols to follow no we should not harm the vertebrate and like that no those are uh, be tackled separately in an Intel ISAF rules and guidelines just to mention a few and of course be a good communicator okay so later on your problem uh, 
we will ask you to defend your research problem so uh, how will you make your the scientific community con convinced by your study that your study is uh, is uh, fit to be studied <laughs> okay <laughs> that your problem is really a research problem okay so be uh, it's uh, it's and uh, it's in how you communicate your your ideas your your thoughts okay uh, you you should be able to sell your research problem to the consumer scientific community okay so thank you so I hope you have learned something from this uh, lecture again as mentioned earlier a while ago so just remember those tips and you should be fine in formulating your search problem okay so again if you have questions clarifications feel free to comment in our group chat or just PM me personal PM in in my FB messenger okay guys thank you for listening watching and uh, god bless us all